Okay, folks, welcome to the Hyperledger Supply Chain and Trade Finance Special Interest Group Session Project Planning on the 18th of April, uh, 2024. Thanks for uh, joining here, whether it's uh, live or after the fact. Uh, first off, Alicia, thank you for being the host and doing a great job for the session a couple weeks ago with uh, Meryl uh, from T3I Partner Network. She did a nice job. You did a nice job. Very interesting conversation, which I think maybe comes into some of what we're talking about today and, and planning here. Um, so let's start off first um, here because we're part of Hyperledger, we have some things to uh, go through. All are welcome. So we're glad that you're here or listening again uh, via the replay on YouTube. And then also please don't say anything confidential since we have an antitrust policy. Don't share anything that you don't want to share with anybody else since this is all an open forum here. Um, let's see here. Announcements, you can see, you can read through here, Linux Foundation, a number of different events. We will have our planning session today and then upcoming, we're gonna have Bobby Muscaro talking about NFTs and giving chain on the 2nd of May. And then Ned Thompson has already set up uh, with Alex Dial uh, Venturas for May 16th. And then Freight Waves has a session, et cetera. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's see. Um, and if you're interested, Alex got back to me with this title. It's going to be Blockchain for uh, Supply Chain Interoperability. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. We, we have that. Um, so I, I'm, I'm happy for that. Uh, what do I want to say? Oh, I lost my chain of thought. Anyways. Um, oh, I know. It was Meryl's presentation. I just listened to it since I'm back from vacation after two weeks here. Um, and... Uh, there were 102 views um, on it already after two weeks on YouTube. So I think we're getting decent uptake on these. You know, obviously we'd like thousands and millions, but we're probably not that broad a base. <laughs> so we'll, we'll celebrate 102 and appreciate Meryl for sharing her thoughts and Ion for connecting us uh, here. So uh, one thing I did want to mention is... Alicia has spent some time in how to get involved here beyond the three co-chairs that we have. So please take a gander at that. There's many different ways in addition to the, what we're going to be talking today about project planning and blog for uh, you to uh, join, join the fun associated with this. And let's see here. Okay. This is something we'll, we'll talk about. So with that, let's see here, Jeff, are you, uh, open to spending a minute or so and just giving us the thoughts on the co-chair meeting or the co the chair meetings uh, from Monday, I believe it was. You're on mute, Jeff. <laughs> okay, I thought it was on it's your screen, not mine. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, a big chunk of it was taken up by the, uh, now I can't remember what SIG this is. Uh, anyway, there's a SIG that's involved with um, education training and they did a demonstration of this tokenization of uh, training credits and how they could be used. There's some real on the You can like speak just a little that. bit more loudly. I, I'd appreciate it. You're coming through a little soft. Are you having the same thing, Alicia? Yeah, it was getting really garbled. I couldn't understand. A little bit of Charlie Brown teacher going on. Uh oh. That's even worse than what I was hearing. Uh -oh. yeah, I just, I, That's I better, just but there. still not. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> I dialed my microphone all the way up, so can you hear me okay? It, it, it's oh. a little fuzzy, but I can hear you. Okay. I like what you're saying. Um, it's a brand new uh, microphone. Anyway, the um, me was thinking about half half of it was just the demonstration of uh, I, and I, you have to go back down and look at the recording who that SIG was that uh, showed that. But uh, it was a good presentation about what they're doing around tokenization of uh, credits, training credits that you can show an employer, um, or an organization if they want proof that you've taken classes, then they can, there's a blockchain solution that they're putting out there. 
So again, it was a it was quite a lengthy um, demonstration, and the rest of that was just what are what are we doing with different SIGs? So in this portion here, I mentioned the blog. Um, what we're working on with the blog, the uh, other SIG leaders said that was a great idea. I gave them an invitation to please join in, add content as you would like. Um, no firm uh, comments back on that. So um, anyway, I gave them that. I also mentioned to the those groups that we were the, they're all on the call that some of our work this year, including the blog, will be maybe a bit more technical in the sense of descriptive conceptual level and we would want to delve into some of the uh, hyperledger software groups and I was told the best idea around that is to um, look for or the architecture groups look for some of the software groups because they're so busy and try and find the architects architects tend to be buried in organizations I think on purpose so now nobody knows where they are because recruiters are always going after them I know this from experience being an architect <laughs> they kind of if you pseudo in the business and pseudo in IT, and it's difficult uh, that, and I think the same thing is going on Hyperledger. It, even in Discord, the architects are hard to find, but they have the architect on Monday on the co-chairs meeting to talk about that solution. I'd go back and look at it. I, I was going to write it down for this meeting, I forgot. But in any case, that was really a wrap up on the co-chair was, okay. um, a big chunk of it was, again, taken up by that very good demonstration, which gives us an outlet to give a demonstration to if we want to. The next full chair meeting. I, mean, I thought it was more stringent as far as just talking about what the groups are doing, but we can demo stuff. Excuse me, Jeff, or... Tom, do you hear something really strange I in the background? Very strange, like breathing. <laughs> like like Darth uh, Vader. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can try and fix that. It's like a computer. Okay. So, Jeff, we're going to get, you're going to need to get you. Uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does that. It does that sometimes when I have it on a certain surface. It thinks it goes in the high mode and turns on. And so I think that's what you're thinking. I might be interfering with my. Um, you get some funky resonance there. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, if I pick it up and stop, anyway, so. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, what, why don't we stop there, there, Jeff? I think it's kind of interesting that noise. What? No, that that background noise went away. Yeah, it says, you know what? I have it on a warm surface. Now it's back. And, just yeah, came back. I'm just slowly trying to tilt it back. <laughs> this is all recorded. It's on a it's on a uh, surface that uh, so the heater it, anyway the fan gets in high mode because I'm overheating it. <laughs> See right there, I'm moving it around. So I'll hold I'll hold it for now. Okay, <laughs> let, let's let, let's break for right now. Hey, we we might. Uh, Keep this. You can go. I hope you heard. I heard. I hope you heard about the co-chair and stuff, though. I, I, yeah, I think my my takeaway from it is other SIG leaders like the idea, um, maybe technology focused, and then my third maybe takeaway. Jeff, if you could put on mute. Okay. Okay. There, it's gone. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's. I think it's cooled down now. No, it's back. Oh, much better. Yeah. Okay. Um, and my third takeaway, so like the idea, technology focus might be uh, interesting. And my other thought here is that, hey, we, we should think through, or it would be good for us to think through who we might like to put partner with of the other SIGs mm -hmm. and maybe write a joint blog at some point in time. Maybe that's that's one towards the, uh, the second half of the year, mm -hmm. right? So that that's my thought. So um, I'm going to roll through this, and you know, maybe we make this fairly fairly quick conversation here. Um, and uh, given that a lot of this is is listed, we're proposing schedule May, June, July, take off the summer, uh, August, basically, and then September, October. So we get six of these, two thousand two hundred fifty to thousand words, so one to four pages reading level, you know, we're, we don't want this to be super in the weeds, but we also don't want it to be so high that it's devoid of contact or context or interest uh, from people here. And we already have two that we believe are, make sense, the three of us, how different hyperallergic products are using supply chain management and trade finance. And Jeff is taking the lead on that. And our goal is to get that out in May. 
And then June, Alicia's taking the lead on this one, why traceability is important because that's we view that as kind of a fundamental uh, aspect of leveraging blockchains uh, in supply chain and trade finance. And then from that perspective, we can go to lots of different areas here, whether it's trade finance, AI and blockchain, blockchain and fraud, uh, building on traceability. And in fact, okay, if you have traceability, what what's that allow you to do? Um, and I think there's something, kind of one of the things I've seen, and you know, Alicia, Jeff, you probably have also, most of the most successful blockchains seem to have had some interface, especially from a traceability perspective, with some sort of sensor or IoT uh, type devices. If mm -hmm. that stuff isn't in place, or and if, as part of the same project, it becomes very difficult to avoid the garbage in, garbage out problem uh, of blockchain. Reliable, yeah, uh, reliable. Data sources. Yeah, that's probably a good way to use a good word to use also <laughs> there. Um, although I was just talking with a plant manager actually a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. on a different topic, and that person knew the garbage in, garbage out problem. Excellent. He actually, he actually used the word. He was not a technical technical person. So, anyways, um, other tech topics, other ideas, and if you look in the uh, projects down below here, planning suggestions. Uh, Ned Thompson put something in about he's been uh, dealing a lot with consortiums. He couldn't join us today. And so we'll go back to Ned. And I think that could actually be a nice topic. You know, what's the status of consortiums? I mean, uh, Meryl, two weeks ago, talked about uh, her experience. It was actually kind of nice. Hey, what, what didn't work with uh, Trade Lens and Contour? And what were some of the challenges still with existing Marco Polo? So, you know, having consortiums were all the rage a few years ago, it'd be good to kind of come back and say what's working, what's not. So I, I kind of like that, that kind of idea. So one of us will have to go back to Ned and ask him to kind of butt their set up and then we can play, maybe put a data date mm -hmm. on that one um, here. So, so, the, so for you watching it uh, on YouTube here, if you're interested in one of these topics, please get in touch with myself or Alicia or Jeff and we can, or just put it out in the web, out in the, the wiki. Um, we'll also be looking for folks to join us uh, since it's always more fun to do these together and different ideas and diversity of thought, et cetera, et cetera. And clearly there should be some hyperledger component of this here. Um, and then we'll figure out how we share the, share these blog entries out there. So that's, that's the story for uh, right now. I think Alicia and Jeff, unless there's anything else that you guys have for thoughts right now, let's, I, I'm thinking we can kind of close out for right now. I, I think so. I mean, one thing I realized I need to add to the blog planning notes, we've got the reading level of 10th to 12th grade in there. But one other thing that we've discussed is that we want this for, we're thinking that the audience is professionals in business sector and also technology. Okay, beautiful. That that that's a very important point. Yes, exactly. So, um, not a, not everyone will be uh, appropriate. So we have a good audience there. So I like okay. that. I like that thought. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll I started mine. I have an outline of it, and so what I was hoping to get by the end of this period tomorrow, I'll send you um, a template to get you and see if it meets that. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Level. Okay. Up Good. So with that, uh, I will end the recording here. And folks, thanks for listening here. Thanks for uh, joining us remotely or in person. And we look forward to the next session here on May 2nd, where Bobby Mascara will be talking again about the giving chain. So and NFT. So it's always interesting to hear about NFTs and what's happening with that. So with that, enjoy your rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend and see you in a couple weeks.